The COVID-19 pandemic may well have worsened the problem of illicit trade in medical products. The nefarious forces uh, that drive illicit trade in medical products are difficult to uncover and even more difficult to counter. And that's why we decided to take a closer look at how the WTO can better support existing efforts by our partners to combat illicit trade. I thought this was an important area for us to delve into. So I'm very excited uh, to see this publication. I think there are two main messages uh, that I would like to pull out from the report. Uh, the first, the WTO rule book is an important ally in the fight against illicit trade. Full implementation of our, the WTO trade facilitation agreement, for example, to improve risk management systems, pre and post clearance processes um, this can enhance border co uh, controls needed to tackle illicit trade. The report also looks at the benefits of deepening national, regional, and international cooperation. For the poorest and most vulnerable countries, fighting illicit trade can deliver a double dividend that strengthens their capacity to fight illicit trade whilst expanding legitimate trading opportunities. May WJO estimates that one in 10 medical products that are being uh, used in low and middle income countries are either substandard or falsified, you know. And they can be found in, in lower income countries in illegal street markets or access through the web sites. We, we could do better on the e-commerce. I think that it's a, it, and especially I would say we've been trying very hard to work with the public, general public and with health services. Don't buy if it's not registered in the country. But there's a lot of the e-commerce that depends on individuals buying. And the second is the, the support for strengthening countries' capacity for procurement. As an African, I have seen firsthand how unregulated medicines affect people. And of course, we all know the culture of self-medication renders people vulnerable to illicit drugs. So this is a very important subject, not just to my organization, but also to me personally. We do believe in WIPO that enforcement of IP legislation can serve as a tool to address illicit trade in medical products. The circulation of low quality and unsafe medical products affects the poorest the most. That is uh, really the problem. Um, this is criminal and demands hard sanctions and punishment. The best answer is access for all to legal medical uh, products. I'm optimist. It is possible. We are the first defense, defense line. Uh, to well, fight against uh, illicit trade, which poses health, safety, and security risk. But when custom is corrupt, it's not only customs, um, other agencies, uh, already WHO mentioned about health authorities, and uh, business who corrupt customs. So uh, it takes two to tango. The magnitude of the challenge is big, and we have heard uh, uh, about it. But uh, I think that all of these organizations have also shown that this is a key priority and that they see further opportunities to come and work uh, together.